Hello everyone. In this video, we will discuss how to set up VS Code for C++ on Mac. Basically, we will see all the configurations required to run or debug a C++ program in VS Code on Mac. We are assuming that VS Code is already installed on your Mac. Mac OS comes with a default C++ compiler that is C Lang. First, we need to check if the C Lang compiler is already present in your system or not. For that, go to your terminal and type command C Lang hyphen hyphen version. If CLang compiler is already present on your system, then this command should display its version, just like this. If CLang compiler is not present in your system, then you can install that using the command xcode minus select hyphen hyphen install. Once you have verified that the CLang compiler is already installed, open the Visual Studio code. Inside the VS Code, open the folder of the project. Like we have created an empty folder and we are going to open this folder in the VS Code. Once the project folder is open, create an example cpp file. Inside this example file, write a program to print some strings on the console. Our program is complete. Now let's try to run this program. As we can see, it is showing error because we have not configured anything yet. Go to the extensions tab from the left side menu. Search for C++ and install two extensions. C slash C++ IntelliSense from Microsoft C slash C++ runner First select the C slash C++ IntelliSense from Microsoft Press install This extension is from Microsoft and provides the language support for C, C++ to Visual Studio Code including editing help, code browsing and debugging features. So this extension is installed now. Let's install the second extension C C++ runner. This extension provides the support for compiling, running and debugging multiple C C++ files with ease. So this extension is also installed now. Now return to our editor window. On the right top you will find a new play button. Once you move your cursor on that it will show you two options debug and run. Press the run button. It will pop up a window. Select first option with C Lang++. It will start building the code.
In the terminal section, you will see the compilation logs. In the build section, you will see the output of the program. In the compilation logs, we can see it has used CLang++ compiler from a location with some options. Like current selected file and output file name. Now, the question is, how did it pick all this information? For that, we need to go to an auto-generated file, tasks.json in VS Code folder. Here command contains the path of CLang compiler. Args contain the arguments that will be passed while compiling the code. Like name of current selected file, in our case, it was example 1 CPP. Output file will be of same name but without any extension. Like in our case, executable file will be example 1 in the same folder. Now let's create another C++ program with name example2.cpp and try to run that using the same step. In this program, we will print some other text. Now let's run this code. When you press run button, sometimes you will get a pop-up. Press OK in that. It executed the program. We can confirm it by checking the output. Now let's see how to debug a C++ program. We have a different code now in which we have few string variables. Let's debug this C++ program. Let's place some breakpoints. Instead of run button, select the debug button. It will start debugging of code. Control will stop on first breakpoint. In the debug mode, we can check the runtime values of a variable. Press step over. Then control will stop on second breakpoint. Check the runtime values of another variable. Press step over. This time program will exit because we don't have any other breakpoint. That's all for now. Today we have learned how to set up VS Code for C, C++ on macOS. Thank you so much for watching.